the fine imposed of 1.4 billion is viewed as a slap on the wrist in many quarters, which sends out the message that large firms can get away with fraud and corruption. So we need to be even-handed when stamping out corruption. Frankly, it may appear that we have different rules for the big white-owned companies. But when the small black ones go for the gargoyle, Morally, you can't justify that. Morally, the country can't justify that. We are going to take whatever necessary steps to ensure that the construction industry is free of criminal tendencies. We need to emerge from this moment of crisis with a strategy and a plan that promotes the partnerships to achieve, amongst others, the following objectives to send a clear message that fraud and corruption will not be tolerated and seek to promote the best ethical practices in this construction sector. Mobilize productive existing and new capacity to support the National Infrastructure Development Plan. Promote job creation and skills development in the built environment sector. And lead transformation